morning, first grade. I hope you have watched the videos that I just posted about George Seurat. Um, he was a French artist, very well known. And as you can see in the artwork that we that we were looking at, the Sunday at Grand Jeté, that is all done with teeny, teeny, tiny little paint dots. So I wanted to come in and talk about that type of art, which is called pointillism. So think about using the point of a marker, point of a paintbrush, paint point of any art material and creating those teeny tiny little dots. Today we're going to do a drawing where we're going to combine some lines first to create an image and then we are going to use markers to go in and do all those tiny little stipple dots. Okay, that pointillism. So I have a piece of white drawing paper and I want you to come along with me and draw. So we're going to start today with some very basic lines and we're going to make a carousel horse. So a carousel horse being something that you would see at an amusement park, sometimes in just parks or malls, they have them where you can ride the carousel horse. So we're going to begin today with a line to begin and that is going to be a straight line that's going to be the back of my horse. I'm then going to make the top of the head being a slight curve on a diagonal. I'm going to make a pointy ear. So we're going to look at the side of our horse. Okay. I'm going to make a small diagonal for my horse's forehead. And then I'm going to create like a little dip, kind of like a little C shape. That will be where the eye is. And then from there, I'm going to create a curved line for the top of the mouth. You can make that mouth open a little and make another curved line for the um, bottom of the mouth. Okay, and as we're putting this together, you might say this is looking a little silly, but I guarantee when we're all done, you're gonna be amazed at what you created. Okay, so here is the head. I'm now going to bring down a line. This would be like the neck area. And when I come down here, I'm going to think about a carousel horse. A lot of times they're prancing where their feet are moving. So the very first line I'm going to make for a foot, is so I'm gonna create a horizontal. I'm going to make a small little knee, kind of that C shape again. Bring the leg down. And I'm going to repeat the line portion, like a number seven and make a hoof, okay? All right, so there's one. So now I'm gonna come over here, make another tiny little line, and I'm going to make another leg, and the hoof. And you know what, I forgot to put that knee shape in there, so if you want, you could make like the knee, I forgot. That's all right, I'll keep going. All right, so now I'm going to create another horizontal line for the belly. So those are parallel lines. And on this one, I'm going to create two diagonals. I'm not going to make a full triangle, but they are diagonal. And I'm going to draw two lines, make the knee, bring them down, and make the hoof. Okay, so there's one leg. And I'm going to do one other one, same way, right? So two diagonals. This one I'm going to kind of tuck behind, bring down the leg, make the knee, drop it down, make a hoof. All right, so hopefully that's, and what's great about the video, you can always pause it, stop, go back. So I know I might be going a little quickly as you're drawing, but you can always pause this. All right, so the very last part we need is the horse's bottom, okay? So this one's gonna be a very big letter C, okay, combining those. And a horse has a very big tail. So I'm gonna put a little rectangle here because usually carousel horses, when I see them at playgrounds, they are carved, but they're also very decorative. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here create my carousel tail horse. And now I get to think about some of the details. So when you ride a horse, they wear something called a bridle, which is uh, a way to hold the, like the, put it in the horse's mouth to steer them. 
So I'm gonna put the bridle as two lines and I'm also gonna create that big jaw. And then I'm going to do another two lines. Okay, that would be like the harness area. And I'm going to give my horse an eye. You can give it eyelashes if you want. And a mane. And you can make it like triangles, you can make it wavy and a saddle. So a saddle is what you sit on when you ride a horse. And a lot of times, like I said, carousel horses are very decorative. They have a lot of details. And thinking about some of those lines that we've talked about, I could even do that scalloped line to create some decoration. Now last weekend, there was an event called the Kentucky Derby where horses are raced and timed and there's big prizes for those. And when I watched the Kentucky Derby, a lot of those horses are very, very decorated. Some of them have braids in their manes, some of them have ribbons. And so I am going to come in here and make some of those details in my horse that will also add some fun coloring. I'm gonna create some little tassels in some areas. All right, let's think. Oh, I'm gonna put a couple bows on the mane. So I am just drawing everything. Try not to color anything in right now. Okay. All right, so I am feeling pretty good about what I have, but the only thing I need to now do is I need to create that pole that a carousel horse was on. So I'm going to draw two lines on the top and I'm going to continue them on the other side of my horse and then create some diagonals because that pole goes up and down for that carousel ride. Okay, so now taking my horse, I'm going to move into markers. And I'm going to highly suggest that you start with two colors to begin. It could be any two colors that you would like. So I have a lime green and a turquoise. And I am going to work on that pointillism on just the pole to start. So with my markers, I want you to really remember that you don't wanna slam your marker down. You wanna be very gentle as you're working. So I am choosing a pattern. So I'm gonna start with turquoise, skip one, and do turquoise. So I'm keeping my marker close to my paper and just going up, down, up, down, up, down. And the other really nice thing about this is all those little dots create such a fun view for, for people to look at. It's a little different. It's a little unexpected. Instead of going in and coloring everything solid, those tiny little dots make a really great impact and a fun piece of artwork. Okay, try not to do slashes. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm going to move over into my other color. Okay, so I will come back and I will show you one that I am continually working on. And I want you to take the next couple weeks to work on these. I would rather you take a really good amount of time than for you to feel like you need to rush. And so even in the saddle, I'm going to think about this curved part of the saddle being one color, the other one being a new color. So have fun. The biggest point or part is if you start feeling like your hands are getting tired or your dots are starting to get a little mushed together and more like a slash, stop, put it away, take a break, and come back to it. That's the fascinating thing. When you think about George Starr, I mean, he's taking two years to work on one painting. And so never feel that you have to finish it all in one sitting. Put it away if you're getting a little bit tired and then come back to it. So for the next couple of weeks, I want you to work on these and I will show you in another video coming up how we will finish this piece of artwork. But you can see really, really fun. And you can have fun of the colors in the main, 
colors of your horse, if you want it to be a gray horse or a brown horse, if you wanna create a pink horse, sure, go ahead, you get to choose. All right, so boys and girls, have a lovely day. Share your pictures with me, I hope you enjoy this, and I will come back with a continuation in, in, in a couple of weeks. All right, bye-bye. Thank you.